Breaking the news. Every year, more than one million children in the United States experience divorce. Nearly half of all U.S. children will eventually see their parents divorce or separate. In fact, nearly 25% will become part of a blended family of step-parents and half-siblings, and almost 15% will see their parents divorce not once, but two or even three times. You might be one of those parents that's considering divorce, or maybe you've already decided. But either way, the largest question in your mind is, how do I tell the kids? Telling the kids about a divorce is one of the most stressful things a parent will ever do. Many just avoid the difficult situation with one parent simply packing his or her bags and, and leaving. Imagine how devastating and confusing it must be for a young child to go to bed one night with two parents and then wake up to find that one of them is gone. I recently met a young lady, let's, let's call her Katie. She's 28 years old now, but she was 11 years old when her parents divorced. She wanted to know how to break the news of her possible divorce to her young daughter she remembered that her parents had done it all wrong. I don't remember them sitting us down and saying, this is what's happening. I just kind of remember one parent moving to the basement and, and I not really getting it. It was pretty clear that they weren't together anymore when all of a sudden I started meeting mom's boyfriend and then I met dad's girlfriend. It was really confusing. I just wish they had been straight up with me, she said. I hear it all the time. So here's what I shared with Katie, and I hope it's helpful for you. I'll tell you that most experts say that parents should break the news as a united front. Uh, children shouldn't hear about divorce from just one parent, or for sure, from anyone other than a parent. It's also important for parents to discuss beforehand what they plan to tell the children. They should agree on what information they will and won't share about the divorce. It helps if parents have made at least temporary arrangements for the children's living situation and visitation before breaking the news to them. Most experts will say that uh, the best time to tell the children is when emotions are not running high. In fact, you know, especially if you have school-aged children, it's probably good at the beginning of a weekend so they have a couple of days to process this before having to return to school. Some experts do suggest that parents tell children separately so that the children feel free to express his or her feelings. But I will say that all experts agree that parents should tell their children as early as possible about the divorce, ideally while both parents are still living in the marital residence. Parents should talk to their children in age-appropriate language, you know, so you know, older kids, they, they might be able to handle more adult conversations, but even they shouldn't be burdened with too much personal details about the divorce. With younger children, it, it, it may simply be enough to say that, that mommy and daddy don't love each other anymore, but we still love you. Children also need to be reassured that they aren't to blame for the divorce. Many kids feel that they bear some blame for the divorce and, and they, they, they feel like they can do something to fix it. You know, kids don't often realize just how powerless they are. And, and sometimes they want to take blame because that gives them the ability to, to have some control over the situation. It helps for parents to remind them often that the divorce is between two adults and it was not caused in any way by the children. Parents should express their love for their children and make sure that the kids know that the parents 
did love each other at the beginning of their marriage. You know, sometimes we forget how important it is for children to believe that they were not conceived in anger. Parents should also allow their kids to ask questions. Even if there's not a right answer, or even if we know that we don't have the answers, you know, kids naturally focus on what the divorce will mean for them. You know, where will they live? Where will they go to school? If one parent moves out, does that mean the other parent will leave them too? You know, parents should also ask children questions. For instance, asking children what the word divorce means may uncover some surprising misconceptions. Experts suggest that parents be honest with their children about why they're getting a divorce, but the message needs to be simple. Kids don't need to know all the personal details about their parents' relationship. In fact, the most important message parents can send to their kids is that they have two parents who will love and care for them and that the divorce is in no way their fault. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you'd like more information about discussing divorce with your children, I'd encourage you to pick up a copy of What Children Need to Know When Parents Get Divorced. It's by William Coleman. And of course, as always, if you have any questions about this topic or any other family law issue, please call me on my cell phone. That number is 985-320-7378.